video games, the theme of the oppressed rising against a seemingly unstoppable, corrupt force has become a narrative cornerstone. This theme's appeal lies in its universal resonance. The underdog battling against overwhelming odds is a story that speaks to many. Now, developer Vanillaware, known for their narrative-rich adventures such as 13 Sentinels' Aegis Rim, embraces this archetype in their new adventure, Unicorn Overlord. However, unlike 13 Sentinels, Unicorn Overlord places a heavier emphasis on gameplay, a callback to Vanillaware's earlier works where the mechanics often outshone the narrative. The game marks a departure from the studio's typical fare, opting for an expansive universe populated by a plethora of characters and an ambitious attempt at world building that, while occasionally overstretched, successfully delivers impactful moments. Unicorn Overlord is set on the continent of Favrith, which is comprised of five nations now in turmoil. The opening narrative weaves a tale of conflict sparked by a general's defection from the nation of Cornea. The protagonist, Alon, a prince of Cornea, raised in secrecy by a loyal soldier of his mother, finds himself thrust into the role of leader of the Liberation Army. This narrative setup, though seemingly cliché, effectively establishes Alan's motivations and the game's central conflict. The detailed depiction of Fivrith's continents, their unique characteristics, and the struggles they face as a result of the ongoing conflict lend depth to the world's design, making the player's quest to liberate Fivrith feel grounded and significant. Your garb is unmistakable, but your name makes matters all the more certain. You must be a descendant of the old court sorceress, the great and noble Yana, who served under Queen Elenia's grandfather. Despite the game's extensive cast, not all characters are equally compelling. The sheer number of characters inevitably leads to the disparities in depth and relevance, with many fading into the background shortly after their introduction. Vanillaware attempts to address this through Rapport, which offers insights into characters' backstories and relationships via conversations scattered across the game's world map. However, these interactions feel more supplementary than integral in the core story. The game's antagonists suffer from the similar lack of depth, often feeling more like narrative conveniences than fully realized adversaries. Nevertheless, these narrative shortcomings are overshadowed by the game's meticulously crafted gameplay. Unicorn Overlord shines in its strategic depth, offering a tactical RPG experience that is both accessible to newcomers and satisfying for genre veterans. Battles require thoughtful command of units, with victory hinging on strategic positioning, class matchups, and nuanced understanding of each unit's abilities. The game introduces a novel feature in the form of action precedence, allowing players to set detailed conditions for skill activations. Adding a layer of customization and strategic planning that can significantly impact combat outcomes. The Cornian militia, I'm ready. Resource management is also another critical aspect of gameplay, with Valor playing a pivotal role in unit deployment and skill activation. The game encourages strategic use of Valor, rewarding tactical prowess with the means to summon units and execute powerful skills. Additionally, the ability to skip battle animations, which could be a boon for those confident in their strategic planning, underscores the game's emphasis on strategic over spectacle. The overworld design is another area where Unicorn Overlord excels. Liberating territories not only advances the story, but also provides tangible benefits, including quests that contribute to the development of freed areas. This sense of progression, coupled with the strategic depth of the game's combat and resource management system, creates a compelling gameplay loop that keeps players engaged. In terms of presentation, Unicorn Overlord continues Vanillaware's tradition of visually stunning games. Each character environment is rendered with the developer's signature art style, contributing to the game's immersive world. The soundtrack, while effective in setting the mood, may become a bit repetitive over time, but does little to detract from the overall experience. Where it stands, Unicorn Overlord is a testament to the enduring appeal of tactical RPGs. It skillfully blends strategic gameplay with an expansive world and a rich narrative backdrop. 
While the game's narrative and character development may not reach the height of its gameplay, the strategic depth, engaging combat system, and rewarding progression mechanics make it a must-play for fans of the genre. Vanillaware's latest offering not only honors the studio's legacy, but also sets a new standard for tactical RPGs, and it's anyone's guess what adventure this developer comes up with next. Noisy Pixel is giving Unicorn Overlord an 8.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy Pixel.